This video today, for anyone who's watching the replay, this is going to be about how coaching changed my life and how it can change yours as well. If you're someone who's stuck, if you're someone who's struggling, if you're maybe struggling to lose a bit of fat, this video is going to be for you. Um, <clears throat> maybe even struggling with your health for a long time. Listen, we all we all struggle. We've all been there, myself included. Now, if you are watching back in the replay, comment replay or comment live below. Let me know who's on and, and who's watching. And let me know underneath in the comments, if you're brave enough, what is your biggest goal for Q2 of 2020? 2021. What would you really like to achieve by the end of June? It's said that humans cannot focus on something for longer than 90 days. So breaking your goals down into four week and 90 day cycles is what really works well for our clients. But um, that's just a quick goal setting tip. Now, what I'm going to talk, talk about today is how coaching has changed my life. If you're someone who's been stuck for a while, if you're someone who's kind of trying to get things going. You've maybe tried a few different approaches when it comes to fitness, when it comes to fat loss. You can never really get any momentum with anything. Listen, that's how everyone starts. I started in the gym in 2011, <laughs> something along those lines. I've been, no, 2012, almost 10, almost 10 years now, coming up for nine and a bit. So, and honestly, see the first three to four years of that of that cycle, it was a total waste. Is that sounding familiar to you? I would go in, bounce around the machines, do a bit of this, do a bit of that. I would eat some chicken, I would eat some rice, I would eat some broccoli. I downloaded some ebooks off the internet. Didn't have much money. It's just like earning five thousand pounds a year as an apprentice, and I wasted hundreds of pounds in supplements on. Um, God knows what else that didn't do anything for me. Um, but we all make those mistakes. Are you someone who's potentially bounced around the gym, just going from machine to machine, or you may be hopping on different, on hopping on different programs? You've been through the Tupperware club of of chicken, rice, and broccoli all the time. Um, listen, we've all done. I, I've certainly done a lot of stupid things, but coaching changed my life in so many ways. Um, it just completely streamlined everything that I was doing. The reality is, you pay for speed. You pay for speed. You think about any successful person, any successful athlete in the world, every single one of them has a coach. Why is that? If they're so good, if they're so naturally talented, why do they still need coaches? Because the best the best in the world know that they're not the smartest. They hire in certain areas. They hire for a specific thing. They hire for something here. They hire for something there. LeBron James is famous for, for, talk, for spending more than a million dollars a year in coaching on himself, on his body on therapists and things like that. Now, obviously, everyone doesn't have that level of disposable income. Um, but if the best in the world are doing it, then it's something to look into. If you think about you think about any film, <laughs> and this is classic how storytelling is done, but if you think about any film, there's always a guide. There's always a coach. There's always a mentor of some form. You think about, like, Star Wars, it's Yoda. You think about Harry Potter, it's Luke Skywalker. Um you think about all these different things. They all have mentors. They all have um, they all have guides and they all have coaches. Who is your guide? Who is it that you're leaning on for support? If you're stuck, if you're struggling, there's nothing worse. There's nothing more frustrating than banging your head against the wall, thinking you're doing the right things and going absolutely nowhere. People turn to me when you, and this may be you right now, is you may be lacking a bit of motivation. Maybe you're struggling to to really try and figure what, what's the next step for you. What, what's the best workout to do? When should I be eaten? What should I be eaten? How much and when? All of these questions are kind of going through your head and you're trying to give it a go. You're trying to get things going, but you can never really get any momentum. You can never really get any serious progress. And what happens after a couple of weeks? Because you don't see that progress, the motivation dips. You go back through this cycle of, I can't even do this. What's the fucking point? And you're back to square one. It's because there's no structure. There's no structure, there's no solid plan, there's nothing. And what a coach will do and how it's changed my life is having a plan. Just having a, having a structure to work to that's already done for success. Almost anything that you want to do, certainly anything in terms of the health and fitness realm, we'll say that, it has already been done. It's already been done. 
any goal you want to achieve has already been done. Someone out there has already done it. Why would you not just ask them how they do how they've done it? That's the route I go every time now. I, it's, I had my eyes open to coaching <laughs> when I started making some investments. I invested in a fitness coach, then I've invested in business coaching a lot over the last few years in mentorships. I just pay people who are where I want to be. And that's it. It's not a cost, it's an investment. I view health, I view obviously making money as an investment. Your health is never going to cost you money. Making a good go in, with your health and fitness is the one thing that's got almost no downside. There is almost zero downside to making a really good go at your health and fitness, to trying to get fit, to trying to lose fat, to trying to, to, to get back in the best shape of your life, to feel good, to have more energy. Okay, you can push it too far, maybe burn yourself out, but it's, there's only so long you can do that. There's literally no downside to to, to, to getting in shape. Um, it's the one thing that there is no downside with. So if you're stuck, if you're struggling, reach out and ask for help. It's the quickest, easiest path to success. Whatever you want to achieve has already been done. In terms of health and fitness, it's already been done. You do not need to recreate anything. You just need to model what works and find what works for you. Obviously, there's going to be nuances to your situation or certain things that, that suit you, certain diets you need, certain timings around food, workout lengths, all that sort of stuff. But the blueprint is there. It's not magical. Yes, there's a, a million different things in articles and YouTube videos and influencers and fitness coaches and things that are all pushing their own agendas. I'm, I'm another one of them. I've got my own way that works. I've got my own way that I think works. It's my job to try and show you or help you try and believe that I think it can help you. More often than not, if you're watching this, if you're if you're struggling to lose fat, if you're lacking structure, if you're lacking motivation, if you're, you're struggling to stay consistent with your training, if you don't know what to eat, how much and when, if you're any of those things, I can certainly help. And a coach will absolutely change the game. Whether it is with me, whether it is with someone else, I do not, I do not care. The best thing that you can ever do if you really, truly want to change your life in any way, whether it's health and fitness, whether it's business, whether it's career, doesn't matter, is spend money on something in that area, someone who is where you want to be. Again, it does not need to be me. I am just simply telling you what works. It's tried, it's tested, it's true. It is the secret to success. A coach is the only thing that will shortcut your success. The only thing. Because they're going to take out all the mistakes that you would potentially make yourself. All the mistakes you didn't even know you were making. All the wasted time, all the wasted effort, all the useless pounds and hours spent doing all the wrong things. I, I say this all the time. I would literally pay tens of thousands of pounds back for the hours that I wasted for probably four years. I would pay tens of thousands of pounds for it now to get that time back, literally. Um, a, a lot of us don't think about that at the time, but when you're lying in your deathbed and you've pissed away f seven years of your life trying to figure out this health and fitness thing, or your life could have been seven years longer because you actually got fit and got healthy, that's when you'll be deciding you should have made that decision then. So if you're stuck and if you're struggling, the quickest, easiest, easiest, most certain path to success is get some help. Now, if that's you, if you want some help, if you want some guidance, take the first step with me. We have a couple of Fat Loss Forever calls that we give away each week. This is where I help map out the next six months for you completely free. It's not a sales call. It's simply to find out if I can help you, give you a roadmap, give you a plan. And you know what? See if it makes sense working together. Perfect. If not, no stress. If that's for you, comment call below. Also, in the tomorrow's video, I'm going to be talking about some of the biggest workout mistakes I see most making when it comes to fat loss. So if you want to see the biggest workout mistakes when it comes to fat loss, stay tuned tomorrow around 7.45.